React is one of the most popular and powerful JavaScript libraries that is used in many of the big companies to build user interfaces. And Redux is the most popular library to do state management for React applications. React allows us to build user interfaces for web, Android and iOS mobile apps, desktop apps, virtual reality apps, TV apps and whatnot. Experts are amongst the highest paid developers among all the front-end frameworks. React allows us to build complex UI applications in an intuitive way that are easy to reason about. And it uses some of the best programming principles in software engineering. You can build applications for any platform with one single programming language, JavaScript. And with the power of React and Redux, it's the best time for you to learn and truly understand React and Redux. Welcome to this three-part course, Learn and Understand React and Redux. Hi, my name is Sam and I'm really excited to present you this course. I hope you are as excited as I am. The motivation for this course is not just to teach you how to use React, Redux and other libraries. There are already plenty of courses out there that are doing this job pretty well. But I have a concern that in most of the books and courses out there, emphasis is mostly given on just how to use those libraries. Sometimes they explain the things from a very high level view also. And most importantly, they try to explain the solutions before explaining the problems. And I have a strong objection to that. Solutions have absolutely no meaning until you actually understand the problems they solve. If you think about it, you'll realize most of the innovations happen because of the problems that we start to face. And we try to solve those problems as we face them. Also, I don't believe in copy and pasting what instructor is saying and just following the instructor blindly. That definitely doesn't gonna help us in the long run. We should always try to understand why React and Redux are built the way they are what problems they solve for us and have a little bit of deep level idea and understanding about how things work under the hood. Understanding helps us to make informed decisions in coding and design rather than just following the procedures from other people and relying on others methodologies to solve your problems. Other thing that I hate about most of the tutorials is that they start with developing simple apps which is a good thing but all of them end up with the same trivial applications. At beginning, you feel pretty comfortable and starts to think that you have a good grip on the subject. But when you go out and start solving the real world problems that requires deeper understanding and knowledge, at that point you will start to falter because of very little understanding and practice. Suddenly, things that looked quite trivial starts to look like cryptic. Since you practiced only trivial problems, you didn't make any mistakes and it's quite true that we learn programming from our mistakes and practicing problems. We understand the concepts deeply as you practice more and more applications and solve different problems. Let me explain this with an example. Most of the courses out there teaching Redux starts with explaining three principles of Redux and what reducers are. But do you have any idea why Redux exists at first? Do you have any idea when and why you should use Redux? Do you have any idea why Redux pushes for single source of truth principle? Do you have any idea why Redux emphasis on making state changes by only dispatching an action? And do you understand why reducer should be a pure function? What happens if I mutate the state inside reducer functions? And how do I detect mutations? There are still a bunch of questions like this which are left unexplained or not properly explained in most of the courses out there. But I will unfold these questions with proper justifications in this course. Now we are not going to cover Redux in the first part of the series itself. But later when we do, we will have a deep discussion on each of these questions. Throughout this three-part series, we are going to understand React, ES6, tooling using Webpack 2, React Router, Redux, Redux middlewares and many more. And we will also build so many applications starting from simple to moderate size. There are so many concepts in React as well that you need to understand to become a better developer. And we target only React concepts in the first part of this course. I will cover up not just React and Redux concepts, but also JavaScript concepts, ES6 concepts, functional programming concepts, application architecture, best practices, and some general programming guidelines also. I will also mention some of the pitfalls you have to watch out and things you may have to avoid while developing React applications. If you have taken this course, chances are you might be already a bit familiar with React and Redux. But if you are a starter and don't have any idea about any of this, don't worry about it. We will discuss and understand everything at great length and depth. Also, we are going to understand what are some of the problems with React and how we reach to Redux. And in the process, we will understand internals of React and Redux at great depth. Okay, prerequisites for this course are basic HTML, 
a little bit of CSS will do and basic JavaScript knowledge. Apart from this, no prior knowledge of anything else is required. No assumptions will be made about your previous knowledge. I will explain each and every bit as we go through them. After completing this course, I am quite sure you will transform to not just better React and Redux developer, but also a better JavaScript programmer. Even if you are not in touch with React and Redux for 2 months or more, you will be able to pick things quickly since understanding make things stay in long term memory. One more important point that I would like to make here is, our primary intent is to understand React and Redux. So we are going to make some mistakes willingly and we are going to troubleshoot the errors and finally learn from mistakes. So I request you to have a little bit of patience with the course. This course will be based on project based approach, meaning we are going to learn React, React Router and Redux by developing applications and covering each and every concept gradually and incrementally. We are going to start with very simple applications at the start and then build medium size applications as we progress through the course. We will also learn JavaScript, especially ES6 and some ES Next features as well as some functional programming principles in this course. We are going to give equal emphasis on not just how we do the things but also on why we are doing this. We are going to look at how does React works, Redux works, why React and Redux are structured the way they are and many more. Alright, enough talking, let's get started.